Another th common thread that I hear in developing uh, new technologies now is sort of the importance of, of frontiers and being able to go to places where something hasn't been done before. Uh, Sanji, can you talk a little bit about why you decided to, to, to pick where, you're, where you are to start with your programs? Uh, thanks, Rich. Uh, and as as David, uh, David had mentioned earlier about the unconnected, now I come from a continent uh, which is the most unconnected continent in the whole world. And we have a lot of challenges with infrastructure, connectivity, and, and this complicates the last mile delivery of, uh, of, of anything that is required, whether it's humanitarian cargo or e-commerce cargo. And uh, operating an airline for the last 20 years in Africa has given us a lot of opportunities to go to some places which are very remote and, and places which does not really have the infrastructure. So about a year ago, when we were looking at setting up the drone subsidiary, it, it was a perfect fit. And, and it would be a complementary, it, it, it would complement the cargo airline because here we would be restricted as the airline to only go to the airport, but now we're cutting out the airport and we're going right to the doorstep of the person where we're going to deliver it to. So this is where the idea came up and I think it's just the state of Africa and, and the lack of investment in infrastructure led to the opportunity and, and, and what we realized was that the regulations is the biggest barrier towards growing the business in Africa. And what, what we did was uh, worked very closely with the regulators to come up with a draft policy on, on UAVs, and they call it RPAS. And we've been very fortunate because in Africa, South Africa is the, is the center of excellence when it comes to drones technology, and uh, followed by Rwanda and Kenya. So what, what, what happened eventually was that we worked with the regulators to come up with the policy. And immediately the policy was done, it was now passed in parliament and it's become an act. So after that, we decided to now enter into strategic partnerships with manufacturers, like the Two Tons Cargo Drone is a partnership with a manufacturer in Spain to now test the Two Tons Cargo Drone in Kenya. And, and what we are able to offer is a very unique drones corridor platform where manufacturers of drones can come to Kenya and test their drones using our infrastructure. So you don't really go into business from day one. The entire journey can take many, many years. And, and what you have to do is to be very patient, work with the regulators, and also appreciate the natural environment where we come from. And, and you know, when I come to Dubai and Abu Dhabi, it's, it's beautiful. You know, the infrastructure is so well developed. And we are about, I think, 20 light years away from getting to that stage. So there's, there's a journey that you have to take. There's a lot of patience, sacrifice, a lot of financial investments that you have to make into it. But the end objective is one which would be very, very beneficial to our organization and to the society that we are serving.